place that can make more than that. I'm looking for Sergeant McQuaid. Right, okay. Um, I'll be pressing this and it's just... Right, okay, just a minute. Okay, Hello. I'm not Rob McQueen. I'm uh, Mark Bromley. Rob's off at, at three o'clock. Can I help you with anything? Well, I came home from my work mm -hmm. about an hour and a half ago to find that my house has been well. I right. couldn't get. I couldn't get. I couldn't get the key turned in my lock. Yeah. And okay. the police have obviously been in my house. Yeah. Top me down to Queen Street to collect keys. Okay. Have you done that? Yes. Okay. So I want to see what evidence you've got to show me as for reasons why you've come to the and I've not been there. Well, we can't just break into people's houses, but there's obviously a warrant. Well, I need to see the warrant then, do I? No, no not just now. Uh, excuse me, did you break into my house? Yeah. And that's quite legal, without showing me anything. Yeah, if there's no reply when we go to the door, <coughs> as long as we've got the warrant in our possession, but I don't know, you've got a warrant in your possession because I'm not there, am I? No. But we still, we were able to go and get in. Well, clearly. Yeah. The reason we did it is we needed to speak to David now. We need to get all of him. Oh. How many times have I told David that was there? How many times do I need to pump it into yours that he doesn't live at my address? So you're continually violating my privacy. Helping yourself, do whatever you like, taking whatever you want. We've never given me any items of what you're taking from my house. As far as I know, as far as I know, I wasn't there. As far as I understand, there was absolutely nothing taken. So, it was a warrant for an entry to have a look at David because we need to get hold of him. So, it wasn't for taking goods out of the house. It was for David. Because then there, at Queen Street, mm -hmm. told me it was for evidential warrant. Well, it would be an evidential warrant for him and, and items that we need to speak to him about, yeah. So, the, so you've got the warrant for David? There'll be certain, there'll be certain items that we need to get hold of as well in, in relation to this inquiry. Okay, and I can't go into the na nature of the inquiry because it's still ongoing. We still need to get hold of David, so I can't really tell you what we're, what we're looking for or why we need to get hold of David because it's still ongoing. All I can say is we do need to get hold of David, and until we get hold of him, it's going to be a pain in the back time because probably well, back at your well. address and you know until we get hold of him. Well, there's no point in coming to my address any time as soon as I'm working. I'm not yeah, if you've got any reason to get in contact with him, I just tell him to present at a police office so we can speak well, to him. Well, why would David want to do that? Because you want to speak to him, but what you really want to do is arrest him. Well, we need to because speak to him. Because this is what you do every time you say, we just need to speak to you, David. Well, we do. We need to speak to him, and we're, this sort of thing is going to keep happening, so we keep... We because they've just talked me down at Queen Street, David is breaking the law by recording police. Now, David isn't breaking the law by recording police. Well, as I said, we need to speak to him, so the sooner he can send there, There's a wee bit more to it than just recording police. Recording police. Um, well, that's what she just said to me. Yeah, it, it does It does involve recording police, but there's a wee bit more to it than that. We, we, we can't just get a warrant for because he's been recording police. There's a wee well, bit that's more, what you've done before. Well, there's a wee bit more to it than, than that. There's a wee bit more, um, you know... Well, he doesn't generally have to park that though, does he? He hasn't, he hasn't broken any law. No. Because anybody can film in public. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, yeah, well, when it, certain individuals are being targeted, then that's when it becomes an offence. Well, how is it an offence? Because it's targeting individuals. If I was to come and start filming you constantly. Yeah, that yeah it's fine if you are, but then, then that, you, it's up to you then to that's, make your privacy. That's, that's an offence. That's, that's almost that's stalking. Yeah. If, if I was standing outside your place of work or your home address and I had a camera and I was filming you, that's an offence. Yeah, but you're, you're public officials. Uh, of course not, when, not when people are off duty. When people are off duty or people are going to their own personal cars, then... No, that, that person, if you're speaking about that woman at Bucksburn, she got out of her personal car and she assaulted David and grabbed things from David. But we're not speaking about that. We're speaking about other incidents that have come to 
No, as soon as they're being made up the honest truth, you get very much trouble is what's happening. That's the truth behind it. Well, I don't know anything about the, the stories that have been made up. All I know is that there's been a sufficiency of evidence for us to get a warrant to gain entry to your house. And that's well, you've made, up, you've made up sufficient stories. Well, listen, I'm, I'm, not getting, I'm not getting into a debate as to whether, you know, what you believe or what I believe. All I know well, is Well, I just see what I see. Well, look, that's fine. And well, that's all you are seeing, really. Well, well, is actually, what he was putting up. Like, I'm, not, I'm not getting into an argument about what you believe and what we believe. The evidence has been presented in front of the sheriff and he deemed it suitable to get a warrant. And as far as I'm concerned, we've done everything that we need to do by the book. Okay. Now, I wasn't there. I didn't see what, what's happened. All we can go on is what officers or people that have seen David tell us. Okay. That's well, David doesn't live at my address. Okay. So, I would appreciate if you stop coming to my address and breaking into my house. Yeah. Because he doesn't live there. Okay. Now, clearly, you will see by yourselves, whoever went in there tonight... That back bedroom is empty. There's no beds in there. There's nobody lives there apart from me. Yeah, but we're, we're trying to help you by saying, look, we need to speak to him. Now, you know, you know as well as I do, when we say we need to speak to him, we need to speak to him, we need to interview him about a crime that's under investigation. But it's not a crime, though, is it? That's, well, that's, 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 that's all. That's all. Right. There's a warrant being issued to gain entry to your house, right? Which means... There has to be something criminal. Well, where are, you, where are you getting the information from that David lives at my address when I told you he doesn't? Well, it's it's intelligence. It's wherever... But he doesn't live there? But your name he is linked to him. Your, your name is linked to him. Well, you've witnessed yourselves tonight. That went, was you in there tonight? No. Well, whoever was in there tonight... I'll, I'll go out to the neighbours in the streets. I'll tell you if you're in there. Anyway. I don't know. I don't know. We, we were there. We were there. I know about the, the incident... And I know about what's happened today. Well, I'll find out from the neighbours in the street what time you were in there today. Well, you, you How many go. police officers yeah. there were. Okay, that's fine. But the sooner we speak to David... And I'm going to the newspapers about it because I'm fed up with it. Yeah. Okay. I have my privacy violated all the time. I, okay. I feel like I'm being violated for something I haven't been doing. Okay. That's your choice. That's up to you yeah. if you want to do that. I will. But the sooner we get a hold of David, the better. Because we need to we're, speak to him. We're telling you we need to speak to David, right? Now, what I will say to you is, until we get hold of him... No, if I see David, I'll pass on the message. You will get your house visited, you'll get your door knocked. We'll, we'll, we'll go to every place that he's linked to until we get hold of him. Because it's that's not, what it's not to just going to go away. We need to speak to him. End of story. We need to speak to him. So the sooner we speak to him, the sooner all this stuff happens. Well, David is his own individual, isn't he? I can't force David to do anything. He's right. so, I was going to say, the door will still get chapped. It'll still get knocked. We'll still come around and visit until we get hands on him. So... No, oh, that's OK. Yeah. As long as you're not smashing it in. Because now you won't have a warrant to smash it in, will you? No. No. Well, it's been executed, it's been done. So. And I still feel I have a right to be able to see that. I don't have a warrant. Well, I don't. Well, how can you prove to me that you've actually had, had a warrant to go into my house? It wasn't us that dealt with it, though. Well, yeah, whatever he's saying, I can't get to see it. Well, we don't have we it. We don't have a warrant, can we? We don't have it here, so I can't show you. Well, who has it then? I don't know. It wasn't ourselves that dealt with it. Because it probably wasn't even a warrant. Yes. Uh, how can you prove uh, to me? How can you show me that what Listen, I'm not, I'm not getting into debates, right? There was a warrant executed at your house today, right? And entry was forced in an effort to get hold of David, right? End of story. Now, the warrant will be lodged as a production somewhere. If you want to find out where that is and you want to see that, then absolutely. But you will not be able to see it now at, at 10 past 3 in the morning. Well, that's not my fault that I work till this time of night. That's, yeah. And then I have to come all the way up yeah. to Queen Street. Well, all the way back into Queen Street. But what, what you're saying is that we've unlawfully forced them to see your house. Well, I don't know, do I? Because I haven't seen any evidence saying you otherwise. Yeah, but we don't just go to say... So, well, like what you're saying to me about David, well, I can mention that to say anything, can't I? You can... You've broken into my house, so I'm concerned. You haven't shown me any evidence to say that you have any right, any lawful right. But I want to say it. It's, there's a warrant. And it's... Well, I'm just going to take your yeah. word for it. Well, that's your, that's your prerogative. But what I'm saying to you is we, we legally have a warrant. We don't just go force an entry to people's houses. Well, I don't know what you do these well, days. You, you can believe what you want, but please Because don't I see that. too much of it and what you do these days, then it's not really well, legal. I, I don't know why you've got such a twisted opinion. It's not a twisted opinion. It's not. not. You know, you've got the answer. I'm not saying you two necessarily. No, well, I'm going to say because I've never met you before in my life. Well, I have. And yeah. We were fine the last time I spoke to you. I'm generally fine with everybody. Yeah. I'm just getting a bit fed up of this. And I can understand it's frustrating because we still have a job to do. At the I end understand day, that. And we need to get a hold of David. So but you, you continually are asking David for things that he isn't writing the law doing. He's not committing any offence. I'm really. not in charge of the crime that is being investigated against David. I don't know what it is for or anything to do with that. 
I'm aware that I'm not at all. My colleagues are trying to trace David and they won't stop until we get him to speak to him. He will need to be arrested so he can be interviewed in relation to whatever offence they are wanting to investigate. Okay? This will not stop. We're not just going to give up because he's not making himself available. We will continue to chat your door. We'll continue to come out until we get hands on him. So the better, the sooner he comes out. That's okay. Well, you can see the chat because if you don't have a warrant anymore, then you can't break him. Please. 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 So we want to connect with you. Okay? So that's done and dusted. Okay? Mm-hmm. So all we're trying to do is get hold of David. All right? It's nothing against yourself. We're just trying to get hold of David. That's all it yeah, is. Yes. Well, I don't know why you just don't understand when he doesn't live at that house. So there's no need to be there. You all start contact with him. Sometimes. Yeah, so yeah. he'll obviously know that the police are looking for him now. And that's all, you know, to save all this... No, it will be now, yeah? Because I'll be going to tell him. Yeah. yeah. And save all this up- upheaval, just to save him. So at a police office? And it, it'll be... No, he's not going to do that, is he? Well, then... Well, he's not going to do that, then. We'll continue to look for him. So, we should so it's just, it. the sooner he comes to us, the better. And I appreciate it putting you out and everything, but we have to do our job at the end of the day. I'm going home to my bed now. I don't believe it. I feel like I'm going to buy a lot of things. Right. Right. Shut up. Right. 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 Right.